What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Loverfella and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Guys, I am finally done with the semester. Today I finished up my last exam this morning, failed the crap out of that thing, but hey, it's over so I don't really care. Uh, I think I passed all my classes, but then again, I probably could have failed them too. It really depends on how hard the curve is, but I'm done. That means I'm going to be here more. It means I'm going to be making more videos, uh, going to be pre-recording for the time that I'm gone, and I am just so thankful to be done with this brutal semester and just all the crazy amounts of work we had to do. Um, it was it was a lot of work. It took, I mean, it really pushed me to my limits to manage to get through some of these upper level classes, the labs, while making videos at the same time. It was, it was brutal. And uh, so I'm just happy to say that I'm done and I want to thank you guys for just supporting me throughout that and giving me a lot of words of encouragement. So many of you may notice my base is gone again. Well, the reason the base is gone is not because we were raided. I'm actually building a new base. I'm just kidding guys. We got raided. I think we were completely wiped logged in to see this bad boy on the side of my screen um, That's a lot of deaths, but you know what this is a high rate server it took us one day to get that far And now I can actually play the game again. So I'm gonna be working on building up this base Um, there's like nobody on right now. Look at these rates. This makes me so happy This is how arcs meant to be played guys. This is how arcs meant to be played But no one's on right now except like one person which is really weird because last night there was like 30 So it, that's telling me that a lot of people here are probably a little older They probably work full-time so that means maybe since now i'm out of college for the next month or so I'll have more time to play this game, kind of grind while people aren't playing, and then like just kind of build up some cool bases. So right now I'm probably just going to go with, I don't know if I'm going to build a stone or go straight to metal, because the thing is, to get metal, I'm going to have to tame some kind of bird. I guess I could do that with the rates though. So there are these like, th this mo this uh, server has some really cool mods on it, like you guys saw me place that mat or that cool refining forge over there. I just crafted this guy, which is a bulk tools, and it helps you uh, place some other things if you put it next to the bulk grinder. Move buddy. And um... They're, they're just kind of cool mods. Like, I think they're things that should be in the base game. I don't think these are, these are, what are these called? Bulk mod, maybe? Something like that. But basically, this does nothing by itself. You're just going to put it by another item. And then you, I guess I can unlock it, lock it. But you put it by something else, and it helps you do some uh, crafting, I believe. This guy is just a super good smelter. It's kind of like an industrial forge, but a lot cheaper. And then here, I'm just going to start storing some things. I need to level up. What I need to do... Let's get to level 65 real quick. Actually, maybe I take that stuff back out. Do a little bit of crafting because 12 of these, I feel like that'd be decent experience, right? Once I get to level 65, then I can craft some of these cool little darts that I'm pretty sure are like instant taming darts or something wild like that. Let's get a... What do I want? I can get a little more crafting speed, I guess. This, it feels like it's going really slow for 60 or whatever percentage I have for crafting speed. Um, I really don't need these at all, so I'm just going to go ahead and put them back inside. That didn't give me as much experience as I was hoping for. We're going to have to go kill some things, I think, to level up. This feels so nice right now to just play this game and to know that after I'm done recording, I don't have to go do homework, write a lab report, or meet up with anyone. Like, I have no responsibilities right now, and it feels so good. Man, it, life is just good right now, guys. Aren't you just happy to just, like, wake up? It's sunny out for me here. Like, it's just a beautiful freaking day outside. Thank you guys for just making my life so much better every day. And, uh... Let's, come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, this is level 120. So while, while I'm talking about this, guys, I'm still kind of torn on what I should do server-wise. Like, there is a two-week period I have to pre-record for, which will be starting, like, today, basically. When you see it, it'll already be a day behind us. Like, I need to be recording two to three videos a day. It's going to be basically taking as long as a full-time job would with editing, rendering, uploading, all that stuff going on. I need to know what kind of series to make. Like, the RP thing is so split. Like, people are like, yeah, sounds like a great idea. And then the other half of people are like, dude, that'll ruin your channel. Like... I don't know if people understand what it is. It's not like, it's not like you can only harvest wood. That's not what that means. It means like you just create a character and do whatever you want with that character. Like it's a very detailed answer. I can explain it more if you feel like you don't understand it fully. If you like, there's still a lot of like outcries that people don't really want it at all. I'm, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to alienate so much of my fan base right now. Cause I'm still not that big. Let's go ahead and kill it anyway. <laughs> I had to think about it for a minute, but there could be something on this guy. Who knows? Maybe it's just here. I mean, I don't think they'll know it's here. Like, why would you tame something and then have no idea it's here, right? Right? This is a good idea. This is a good idea. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. I told you there would be stuff in it. 7,000 fiber, some spoiled meat, a lot of narco berries. That's good because I don't really have anything to tame it with. Honestly, I should just load up with this stuff. Thank you for your brave sacrifice, soldier. Oh, yeah, this is this is beyond done, but I'm just going to let it keep going. Get all a bunch of charcoal in there because why not? Load some stuff up in here. I really do not need any of this right now. Just trying to get to level 65. That way I can craft those. I, I'm pretty sure they're like super darts. I think they're like instant tames or something. I don't know completely. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, look what we have here. Nothing. 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 I bet I could break into this. How long would that take?
Okay, guys, I just spent way too long breaking into that. I probably could have gone out, collected the materials, and then crafted what I needed in order to make explosives to get in there a little bit quicker. Oh, and I even broke my pike. Dang it. Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure if I do that little starter kit item... Where's that at? I'm pretty sure this will give me a new pike. Oh, I have a couple of them on here. There it is. Brand new pike right for the killing of this little innocent listosaurus right here. Am I almost level 60? Okay, I was going to say, I feel like I've got to be close by now. There needs to be, like, maybe just a little bit of tree harvesting or something. Get a few more materials. That way I can do some building today. Um, Because I'm probably going to be doing a lot of this today. I might try a stream later. I've got to figure out how to set up the streaming service. But I think it'd be cool to have, like, some streams. Maybe not regular streams, but, like, milestone streams or just when I'm free stream. Something like that. All right. Go to dart. I need to first learn simple rifle ammo. Simple rifle ammo needs I need gunpowder. Okay, this is gonna take a minute. Oh my gosh, that's depressing. I level up to 65 and then I realize I actually need level 70 in order to craft the super mega trank arrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and just collect a whole bunch of wood, whole bunch of thatch, whole bunch of stone, craft a bunch of stone walls. Um, they're not gonna do anything in a rate server like this, but it's gonna help me get a lot of levels. I'm starving. Oh no. Okay, I just managed to grab like two or three thousand stone. Maybe I'm overestimating. Maybe I got Oh, I did get 3,000. That feels good. So, I got a lot of stone. I'll be able to craft a lot of walls with this. But I thought I'd talk about something kind of funny right now. So, yesterday... Do, is this still making coal? Not very quickly, is it? It doesn't use wood very fast. That's just giving away my location. Yesterday, I was looking at my analytics. And I, I hit a record day yesterday for growth on my channel. Um, unbelie Wow, that's going to be some levels. Unbelievable amounts of levels I got. Or, not levels. Unbelievable amounts of subscribers, views, watch time. Everything was yesterday. And I think that's just because of how many likes I got. But, like, I was sitting there looking at my subscribers... I saw 6,150 appear on my screen, and I just remember thinking, like, for a moment, like, it blew me away. I was like, wait, is that my channel? I have 6,150 subscribers right now? Like, it, it feels like, it's, like, kind of a dream, like, that I'm, I'm living this right now, that I have that many subscribers. Like, I know that I want to get 100,000 or a million one day, but to be there and see 6,000, like, to watch the dream come true, like, happen live, I just, like, sit there, I just sat there and stared at it for so long. And I was like, I have 6,150 subscribers. It was unreal. Um, I can't even explain that feeling to you. It just hit me last night. Like, when I hit 5,000, like, I was so focused on 5,000, I didn't think about what came after it. And now that I'm after it, like, I wasn't prepared to hit this, I guess, is what I want to say. And I just want to say thank you for subscribing, guys. It feels awesome. All right, we got 80-some stone walls, so I figure we might as well use a couple of them. This looks more like a bridge to me than an actual base. Like, this is over the water connecting it to the other side. Maybe we go one more layer out like I have here, make some foundations. And then we could kind of keep it like a little turret bridge or something. And then it would be cool. The, the water here we could use as defense. Like, you can walk through the water. You can also place traps in this water. So what if, what if with this super high rates, we just flooded this little surrounding area here with giant traps, bear traps narcotic tracks we would know to only use the bridge but then once the bridge is finished we could line it up with turrets and other traps basically make this like a huge trap ring around the outside of our base and then they could come from water we could kind of guard it with like mosasauruses and sharks and stuff that's a really cool idea i've always wanted to live on this island i've just never had a chance so i'm excited for that one thing i really do actually want to craft though is a bulk smithy now I actually don't know 100% what the bulk smithy does versus a regular smithy, but if it's a modded island item, it's probably better than the regular one. So I'm going to place the bulk smithy out here. Um, I don't know. I guess here's just... No, no, no. I got to get it nice and close to the wall. We're going to be... Or I will be moving all this stuff at some point off the bridge. Then we'll make this bridge more of a tactile point. And then it eventually would be cool to move over there to that tower. Like I always have these visions and they never happen because we always get destroyed. Um, don't need any of that. Here's the arrow. Here's some ballista bolts. There's, is there anything in here I really need to craft? Crossbow could be nice. Cool thing about the bulk things, though, is that I know for a fact they lock. So, like, it says lock next to it. Regular smithy doesn't lock. So, you don't have to worry about people coming in and just stealing your stuff for no reason. Most, most of the time. Sometimes I'm sure it'll happen. All right. Let's go ahead and double layer this wall here. That should be plenty. I don't want to make this too big. Well, maybe we do make it really tall. Then we can use this as a bridge for our dinosaurs. Otherwise, they might get stuck on our own traps, right? So, three wall. Three, three high. That seems like a good idea. Get this taken care of. Growing some levels in the meantime. I really want to get to 60 because I want to get some kind of bird tamed. It's going to make it a lot easier for me to go out there and get some metal. Because with the high rates means high weights for everyone. So I can get super high weights on everything and then just go crazy. Crafting a couple rafts here because uh, with high rates means we got to go get as many different uh, types of bases as we can. Because people are always going to be able to wipe us. So... 
Um, maybe not rafts to use, right? These rafts could just be here, stationary rafts. I'm just getting ideas out the door right now. And we could just like sink foundations and just make these like floating turret bases that kind of surround the backside of our base all the way around. I feel like that might cause some server lag though with that many rafts. But then again, on a high rate server, there's probably always going to be some kind of lag. I need to go get some more hides, some more fibers, some more pretty much everything to level up. Just how many? Three more levels. So something kind of like that could actually be really awesome. Like they'd be like mobile bases. I wish, I think it'd be cool if the rafts could go on their own. Like if there was some kind of feature you could give them to like make them just drive around or like patrol a region. Or if you could give dinosaurs a patrol region. Like you know how you can put a dinosaur on aggressive, but then if they're on aggressive, someone can just easily bait them out and then have them like drown or get stuck somewhere. Well, I don't know if tame dinosaurs can drown anymore, but um, wouldn't it be cool if you could just say like patrol this area if someone comes in some certain radius and you can see that radius Then in that case go ahead and just don't attack them if they come in the radius attack them like something like that would be Probably a simple to implement feature or even as a mod. That's something that needs to happen guys All right four more rafts coming up. This should be the last round of rafts and I think I'll finally be level 70 Then hopefully I can craft the brand new item that I'm like hyping up so much I don't even know if it's what I think it is I'm going off of like a hinge like I think because I'm pretty sure I saw one of my tribe mates insta tame a dung beetle yesterday So we're gonna see if that works. I don't know man. Dang it guys. I was so hyped for it I thought that was it and it was it but I need like a ridiculous amount of resources to craft it Which I just don't have yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to grind it out I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it today might as well get some narcotics and I am like 31% sure that up on the top of this mountain, there is going to be some metal somewhere. I'm pretty sure I've been here before and I think there's some metal nodes. So I'm going to run up here, see if I can just make a few metal rounds because once I get metal, I can probably get most stuff on you for the fabricator. Then I can start getting stuff on you for electronics and polymer. Then grab the sniper, then crap. Oh wait, that was metal. I swear that was metal. Then craft all that stuff. But it's really, really nice to play here without having people constantly be like, hey, lover fella, where are you at? I'm going to watch your videos and then raid you. Like, it's nice that no one here knows I'm lover fella. And I want to keep it that way for a very long time. It's been one day and we were already completely wiped because it's a high rate server. You can get a lot of explosives. So you know there's going to be some crazy PvP coming up. Um, we were actually planning a raid today, so I guess it's good they wiped us or else we would have wiped them. Um, it's a brutal world, and if people found out I made videos, we would have no success here whatsoever. So I will not be releasing the server name for quite a while. Until I feel that no one's going to be able to look at the inside of my base and wipe us, I'm not going to be releasing the name. And another thing I want to talk about, if you're still watching the video, I always say this like later in because I feel like i got to drop some stuff. I can't. Let's, let's get rid of this. Fishing pulls weigh a lot, man. No, let's get rid of these walls. I feel like if you're watching my videos this in or this far in, that means you like you like my videos. Like I say that because a lot of people will click on and then click out. But like most people who watch after five minutes tend to watch the whole video. And so this is where I like talk about things usually that are more serious, more channel related. One of the things I want to talk about is opening up my own server. I told you guys I was thinking about doing that once my semester ended. Now it's ended. I've looked into it and it's pretty expensive. It's actually around $50 per month to start your own server. Um, I don't even make that much really right now. Um, if you, if you add utilities in and stuff, I'm in the negative pretty heavily. So I will not be able to just fund a server by myself. So what I'm thinking of, let me know what you think of this is a Patreon server funded by Patreon donations, but, but you do not have to be a Patreon to play. Okay. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers make a Patreon server where you have to donate like a dollar to play on the server. And I know a lot of you are young. A lot of you don't have money to donate to me. And I don't want to force you to be unable to play because you can't pay. That's not fair. I don't think that's fair at all. But I know some people would willingly donate to help make a server for the community. We could have a few polls that go out, see what kind of rates and mods we want, and then hopefully get something like that set up. If that is something you're interested in, let me know in the comments or show me by donating to the Patreon. If it gets to around 50, I mean 50 would be the minimum. I would like more than 50 because I'd like to make some myself, you know what I'm saying? But if we get to 50, I will invest all of that into a server. The way it works is, if you don't know, Patreon is basically you support me by creating daily videos, right? I make a lot of videos. I don't make much money from videos. But if you like what I'm making, you can donate a certain amount of money per month. Whatever you donate gets you a certain amount of rewards. So for example, um, I haven't really discussed this too much, but like one of my rewards is if you donate like 10 or 15, instantly gain access to my tribe, whatever server I'm on. Um, if you donate like $5, it means I'll like add you on Steam or Twitter or whatever it is because right now I'm really struggling with the amount of people I have to keep, keep in touch with everyone. I'm getting like 300 uh, comments a day, like 20 to 30 Twitter messages, 20 to 30 Discord messages. I get so many people talking to me and it's wonderful, but it's super easy for me 
to forget to reply or miss multiple people. And I feel like once as I keep growing, it's going to get harder and harder and harder. I usually spend like two and a half hours a day answering people and talking to people because I, I like you guys. I really do. So um, it is difficult, though, to make sure I keep in touch with all of you all the time. I need you to make sure you remember that. Like, I'm not ignoring you on purpose. It's just kind of how it is when you kind of get to this point. And I feel like once I get to 10,000, uh, it's going to be it's going to be a lot harder. I'm going to keep replying to everyone I can, though, in the comments, because it's one of my favorite parts of YouTube, listening to you guys, your input, your suggestions, uh, people telling me. I, I Honestly, I kind of like to hate, too. I like the haters that come by and like leave really negative comments because it, it's just entertaining like to see what each of them decides to pick on. Um, but yeah, I love comments. I love hearing from you guys. So Patreon server has a bunch of different tier rewards. And so like I've had some people donate to me over fan funding. It's like a YouTube feature where you just donate to me straight on YouTube. Um, that would help. That would help just the same. But if you rather do Patreon and like donate collectively and get rewards for your donations, um, even like sponsorships, like if you want to sponsor my channel, say you have a business, you want your business on here or something. Um, that is all the stuff that I would be willing to do to get some donations, to get a community server going. So let me know what you guys think about that. I I put a lot of thought into this because I don't I really don't like asking for donations. I really don't like doing it because I feel like you give me your time. And I say this a lot. You give me your time and that's geez, that's a lot of metal. That's all I need from you guys. Time is the best thing ever. But to make a server, I'm going to need a little bit more than your time because um, I've said before that I don't want to like end up losing a lot of money making these videos. Like it's just a hobby right now. Hopefully one day it'll become more than that. But right now, like I've invested a decent amount into my software, my equipment and software, and I don't want to be spending nearly what 50 times 12 is $600 per year on a server, roughly. That'd probably be like the bottom number. So let me know if you guys want to help out on that. Um, I maybe do some small rewards if you donate. Like I'm not gonna like give you a max level dino or anything that'll change the gameplay. Maybe cosmetics if you donate or if you want something like that. Um, but yeah, I don't want to make it Patreon only. It's not fun. Like guys, do you have fun when you play with like 10 people? It's more fun if we have it open to everyone. Um, PVP will have rules. We'll discuss it in the comments below tomorrow or today when you're watching it. So anyway, um, that's kind of what I have right now. We have a lot of work to do on the server. I guess I, I made some decent progress here. Like I farmed a lot of stuff, but um, we did lose everything. And last night we had like everyone on the tribe on. And I think most people are working right now. So right now I'm just rebuilding. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow and have an awesome day.